So Robert, thank you for joining us today. Can you tell me a little bit first about uh, what you do at your startup? Yes, uh, my startup originally is a, a, a kind of a fan group, a fan group community, uh -huh. which is targeting the fans of uh, Japanese animations, comics, and games. So this is actually a very large amount of people, but they are not very noticed in the uh, world, maybe in uh, Asia, in Hong Kong, or in in Taiwan. So we're actually hoping to provide them a place to discuss and a uh -huh. community for them to share their works, uh, their arts, mm -hmm. and their loves about the products and their uh, uh, latest movies and comics. Mm -hmm. So it's a place. Uh, provide them a place for them to uh, share their interest. I see. And uh, are most of the people on your website from Hong Kong? And um, what is it about Hong Kong in particular that makes this uh, popular or Japanese, Japanese animation, right? Um, what, why is it so popular in Hong Kong and not, um, say, for example, in the UK? Because I think you told me that you actually started this while you were studying in the UK, yes. right? Um, actually, in UK, it's also very, very popular. Oh. Actually, animations, comics, and games is, is actually popular all among the global, but uh -huh. not a lot of people notice about them. Maybe uh, normal people uh, uh, with, with like uh, interest in movies or some other things are not interested. But in uh, maybe you can say in UK or in US, they have a, um, a quite different culture of the product that they like. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of people, let's say uh, people in the Western, uh, they love uh, animation and comics, which are more like uh, uh, more muscles and more fightings and, uh -huh. and there is a lot of uh, something like a Batman style or something like that. So the kind of uh, products and uh, things they love are different. Let's mm -hmm. say the thing uh, people feel in beauties are different. Let's say uh, people think a girl is pretty in, in, in UK or maybe in, in Hong Kong or in Japan are actually quite different. Uh -huh. So there are a kind of different market. So in Hong Kong, I think what particularly made it uh, so, so uh, attractive is like, let's say uh, many years ago, actually Japan started to have a lot of uh, animations and, mm -hmm. and movies start uh, uh, showing in Hong Kong. And they also got a lot of uh, comics that are sold in Hong Kong in all the bookstop, uh, bookshops mm -hmm. and newspaper stands. So there are a lot of people actually they start to know about this culture when they're very small. Mm -hmm. So right after school they go back home, they turn on the televisions and they look at this. Uh, actually it's a kind of cartoons but uh, in, in Japan style. Mm -hmm. So uh, this uh, also create interest in uh, around Taiwan and Hong Kong. I see. Yes. Um, so earlier, that, um, earlier you were saying to me how now that you know that uh, you're continuing to expand you're finding some challenges with some other platforms like Facebook who are taking over. Um, yeah. Could you tell me a little bit more about this and, and what these bigger companies are doing that it's ma that's making it hard? Uh, yes. Uh, originally, our platform, what, what makes it unique is uh, there's a, a very large amount of uh, community website out around. So they target mm -hmm. different things. Some are fashions, some are like uh, uh, beauties and stuff. So we're target on uh, the fan group of this kind of people. And we target like a higher quality uh, uh, writers. Actually, what, what we mean higher quality is, is let's say in, in a Facebook post, you can see someone just put maybe a, like two words or full language in, in a reply or maybe just a few words. But mm -hmm. we require people to have uh, write something more meaningful. Mm -hmm. So that, that's the uh, original purpose of us. So maybe some people even write like a page of, of comments of, about what they feel about a, 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 a story. But mm -hmm. now in Facebook, it makes everything so easy and so simple. Right. But people, actually people, uh, they want something simple. They just want to um, maybe just press a like button mm -hmm. and maybe just say two words about uh, what they really like. So we're actually trying to change this scenario back more to a more friendly and more simple. So what makes it so hard is, yes, uh, Facebook, everyone uses it and it's simple so uh, we, it, it, it's really feel challenge let's say Twitter and all those media channel people can mm -hmm. share their products and share their loves and, and write their like diary about their their life so mm -hmm. we're also now thinking to uh, adapt actually to adapt this environment and to mm -hmm. and to go mobile actually is everyone want uh, actually our members also request us to have a mobile version which is more easier to view mm -hmm. and more easier to use and have new functions right. so we did make a Facebook page and we have now over uh, 8,000 likes, but still trying to uh, grow it more. I see. And um, you told me that um, you're just finishing a master's program at HKU. Um, would you say that um, HKU fostered a kind of positive uh, atmosphere that you that inspired you to continue working on your project? And how, how has it helped you, if at all? Uh, yes, absolutely. I think maybe uh, this 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 course really makes me makes all my mindset and everything changes. What course um, is that? What course was it? Uh, it was uh, called e-commerce, uh -huh. electronic commerce uh, in Hong University of Hong Kong. It's a master degree. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. Um, so what changed me a lot is that uh, I really learned about uh, many, many about the internet startup, uh, how they, uh, how they actually commercialize it, mm -hmm. how this kind of, uh, how to turn this kind of people and data into valuable resources. Let's say before, I never think about maybe like a hundred thousand members. I think that's nothing. It's just, it's just a, a bunch of guys uh, together playing together and sharing interests. But, mm -hmm. but actually, I realized that actually it's a com commercial opportunities, and maybe I can work more on this one. Uh -huh. So the course, there is a lot of entrepreneurship workshop and entrepreneurship talks, and also like telling how the e-commerce business run, how the payment system goes, mm -hmm. how the supply chain work. It actually everything around the world about commerce and internet uh, computing is, is working in this industry. Mm -hmm. And not only are you a talented uh, businessman and, and professional, but you're also you said you do some of the drawings. Can you show me one of the drawings that you did your, uh, yourself? Uh, sure. So, uh, so this these are the two be, books. It would be quite interesting to see. Uh -huh. That we published it. So this is my uh, first book uh, I, I do with my friends. And so these are all your own drawings. Uh, no, no. I just uh, actually we did it with a team. So we have some artists. We want to we want to help them publish and share their love. Uh -huh. So these are some of my team members. And uh, actually in here. I have uh, this my old work. I drew this this uh, these ones. Oh. These ones. Well, these are quite interesting. You can see there. Yes. Wow, very detailed. So Thank definitely, you. you have to have a lot of skill for that. Thank you so much for yeah. for sharing this, and it's a yeah. very interesting project to add to all the different interviews you've done. Thanks so much, Robert. Thank you very much. Lovely speaking with you. Thank you.